Hello everybody, welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Looks like we got some fun stuff to show you today. Stay tuned, we're gonna stick some spuds in boxes. That's right, boys and girls. Uh, we are going to make some potato boxes, specifically potato growing boxes. My wife has some plants down in the basement that we've been growing for quite a while, and it's time to get those suckers out of there because I'm pretty sure they're tired of being in the basement. As you can see, this sucker is looking pretty beautiful. All right, let's do this. You came into my life. Like a sweet embrace Swept me off my feet And made me whole again before we begin these boxes, I just wanna say that this is our first time growing potatoes. We've never grown potatoes before, and it's a bit of an experiment, but we're, you know, hoping for the best. The boxes themselves I've never made before, and obviously, since we've never grown them, I've never grown them in a box, so we're gonna see how this goes. As I've told you before, uh, I've got way more tools than I do woodworking skills. So, that being said, uh, no judging. I'm gonna be making these out of pine because it's an experiment and I'm not really ready to spend all that money on cedar. So we'll see how they hold up and uh, to be honest, if they last for a year, uh, then I got my money's worth. If they last more than that, because they will, I mean, it's not gonna rot in a year and they're gonna get put away after their growing season is over, um, I think it'll be fine. So I've got six two by eight boards, eight feet long a piece. And that's what we're going to start these with. You can actually use two by six instead of two by eight if you'd like. Uh, I think I messed up when I bought them. Par for the course when it comes with me. You're going to use the two by two for cleats. I have some two by two uh, by eight feet, but I also have all this scrap. So I'm gonna try to use the scrap before I use those. Uh, I feel like at some point I'm gonna be making some chicken tunnels or channels uh, later on, so I wanna save those in as long of a length as I can. I was doing fine I minded my own business Till the day you took me home You came into my life Like a sweet embrace Swept me off my feet made me whole again you came in my life i want to see your face never will i be be the same again was all about that song had already been sung I was going on still minding my own business never knew the life had just begun you came into my life like a sweet I figured out why it was supposed to be a two by six instead of a two by eight a two by six isn't actually six inches. It's like five and a half, five and a quarter, whatever. And then when you need to cut about half of that, your blade can do that if you've got a 10 inch blade table saw. But when you do a two by eight, not gonna work. Whoa, slow it down there, Kenny. Okay, folks, sometimes when I do projects, I don't really use what God gave me. Sometimes, I forget to just take a second and think. The simple thing here is to take your two by eight and cut it down to a two by six. Use your cutoffs as your cleats. Here's a quick shot of me doing what I should have done when I made this project the first time. Wouldn't that make a whole lot more sense? Nope, I'm gonna do it the hard way. I'm gonna use the sled and the jigsaw. This will be fine and it'll be quick as long as I just get to it now. Bridgie, you having a good time? Mm, I have a good time. <laughs> you hearing any of this? This was my shop five minutes ago. Now it's lunchtime. I brought you some crackers. There's 
just a feeling of a distant melody unknown. I was doing fine. I minded my own business till the day you took me home. You came into my life like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet, and made me whole again. You came in my life. I wanna see your face. Never will I be be the same again. This is Courtney's idea of uh, helping. Oh well. What'd you do? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that they work the same way. <laughs> you have to do that. Come on. <laughs> this. I mean, isn't doesn't it just do the same thing? It just goes no, up and baby. down. No, baby. No. No. And that is why I am usually just drinking wine and petting goats in the videos. I was doing fine. I minded my own business till the day you took me home. So the potato box is done. It's not my best work. And uh, I don't really care because it's just gonna grow potatoes. So as long as it grows potatoes, I'm good. Uh, I can see why it was two by six for sure. Um, also, I'm not a huge fan of the actual design itself. So if you make it like this, the ends just are really, really weak and they just pop off. So if your cuts aren't perfect, which mine weren't, uh, they were just a tad too tight. As soon as you put them together, they break. But then even if you don't, and you set it down wrong, it breaks again. So I've got a bunch of ends that are broken. Kinda see it right here, it's broken. Again, not a big deal, it's growing potatoes. It's done, and I'm gonna get it outside, fill it up with some dirt, start getting these taters growing. Minding my own business, never knew the life had just begun. You came into my life, like a sweet embrace. been a couple weeks the potatoes are doing amazing we are one two three levels up and these guys are ready for the fourth level and much more dirt I'd call it a success how about you be the same again well folks thanks for watching if you're interested in more videos where I build stuff Check them out over here, and if you're looking for some crazy stuff we do as a family, somewhere down below. Hit the big circle that says Life on Beagle Road, and subscribe.